The reason I believe why Boko Haram is very strong is because the people who are sympathetic in the ruling classes in the north to a northern presidency in 2015. Now, there's no direct evidence that they are funding Boko Haram, but there are people who are linked to Boko Haram. And the irony of it is that even though when they've said that these people are funding Boko Haram, or they found people like Kabiru Sokoto in government house, we have not seen any trial. There's not been a single trial of any Boko Haram suspect who has been captured by the government. Now, that gives me a lot of concern, because if you get someone like Kabiru Sokoto, who was fingered in the Madala bombings in 2010, and you cannot bring him to trial. The guys who were uh, fingered in the Abuja bombings, Yanya, -Yan, the one that happened on the same day that the Chibok girls disappeared, they have not been brought to trial. So there is a lot of conspiracy around the Boko Haram issue. But what I do know is that since Jonathan was elected in 2011, the spate and frequency of attacks of Boko Haram has risen. And as we move to the elections, closer to the elections, the increase and the desperation and the use of female suicide bombers has increased. And I suspect that the reason why they took those girls from Chibok in wholesale fashion was to use them as suicide bombers. Because in Portiscum, they've used them. In Meduguri, they've used them. In Gombe, they've used them. All over the show, they're using suicide bombers. Young girls as young as 10. So the challenge for Nigeria right now is a triple challenge. Dwindling economy, falling oil prices, increasing interest rates, declining, devalued Naira by at least 8%. We have a government that has brought this 2015 budget makes no sense because CapEx has gone down and recurrent expenditure is about 91%. So there really is no room for growth when you're not going to invest in infrastructure. We have electricity tariffs that has gone up. They've reduced the petrol price by 10 Naira, but all that has done is to create hoarding, shortages, and queues on the road. And so until this budget is re reworked and rejected, and until, in fact, the government says we're going to capture, we're going to crush Boko Haram. They've been saying that for years. Well, all they do is that they just make Boko Haram even tougher. Because Boko Haram is not, a, is not a Nigerian franchise anymore. It's an international, multinational franchise. As you can see, they on different theaters. They're fighting in Niger, they're fighting in Cameroon, they're fighting in Chad, they're fighting in Nigeria. Yesterday, they killed about 94 people in, in Dambua. So these guys have become very sophisticated. And the reason why it's difficult for the government to defeat them is because they have spies in government. Even the president has said that Boko Haram exists within his own government. 